A stroke occurs when there's a sudden loss of blood supply to a part of the brain. This can be caused by a burst blood vessel or a blocked blood vessel. Now, how the person is affected will depend on which parts of the brain have been damaged by the stroke. This film is going to talk about functional independence after a stroke. Functional independence, assist, repeat, motivate. A stroke can affect someone in many ways. Movement, sensation, vision, thinking, concentrating, remembering, talking and understanding can all be affected. These impairments affect what someone can or cannot do. The person may have difficulty participating in activities in the same way as they did before the stroke. This might include basic day-to-day -day tasks such as toileting, getting washed and dressed, and eating. It might also include more complex activities such as driving, working, looking after children, or socializing with friends. Recovery. Recovery after stroke is driven by a process called neural plasticity. Neural plasticity is the ability of the brain to rewire and organize itself after injury. Recovery is fastest in the first three months after a stroke, but can continue more slowly for a long time. Neural plasticity is entirely dependent on what someone does. It is driven by experience. If someone doesn't try to practice activities that are difficult, they won't improve. Find activities that are important to the person and are something they want to get better at. Assess how the stroke has affected the person's ability to participate in this activity and work out how to help them to achieve it. You might need to break it down into smaller parts. What can you do to help? Assist. Support the person by giving assistance prompting them or supervising them. Make sure everything they need is close by. Sometimes it might be too difficult for someone to use the affected arm. So teach them to be independent using their non-affected side. Repeat. Practice is important. Repetition helps the brain to rewire. Practicing in therapy sessions is not enough. Encourage the person to practice activities at every opportunity. Motivate. Find activities that the person can successfully achieve. Motivation is important for learning.
think what it would be like if you were reliant on others to care for you. How would you feel? Functional independence. Assist. Repeat. Motivate.